Discrimination. Testimony today for a state law that would add protections for the LGBTQ community. Our James Girardi spoke with a Cleveland father putting his story at the forefront. James, he is hoping this law now protects his family. Yeah, Rob, that's exactly right. Right now, in roughly 80% of Ohio, LGBTQ people can be fired from their jobs, denied housing or public accommodation, all because of who they are and who they love. But for the first time in this state's history, Ohio is seriously considering changing that. Cleveland was up against the Bay Area and Seattle. We were considering offers, uh, you know, throughout the country. Hi. Hi. Jason Rudman lives in Cleveland with his husband and two kids. He's living here because his family is protected here. He called it the Jelly Bay? Yeah, that's a funny name. If we go outside of Cleveland to, a, to some place in Ohio where there is not protection, then he faces the real possibility of not being allowed into a hotel because he has two daddies. In nearly 80% of the state, gay, lesbian, and trans Ohioans can be denied housing, employment, and public accommodations. Right now, state anti-discrimination laws do not protect sexual orientation or gender identity. There is a fundamental economic issue here because cities and states that win attract talent. And unfortunately, the situation remains the same today. Today, Rudman testified in front of an Ohio House committee in support of the Ohio Fairness Act, a bill looking to add LGBT people as a protected class. Rudman told lawmakers his family nearly turned down the job that brought him here because the state doesn't yet protect him. Rudman argues Ohio is losing out on a lot of talent. The purchasing power of the LGBT community in this, in this country is approaching $1 trillion. We contribute uh, tax dollars. We continue to grow our communities. It, it is good business sense to make sure that we have a level playing field. The business community could play a major part in any change. Take, for instance, Amazon, considering only cities that protect the LGBT community for its second massive headquarters. And the Ohio State Chamber of Commerce, they have very publicly come forward in support of the Ohio Fairness Act. Reporting live in Cleveland tonight for News 5, I'm James Girardi. New tonight, this